chanting all the time and we know that what we are chanting is not serving it's either a time pass or some negative associations or like you know like gossiping or we are distracting ourselves with various thoughts repetitive mechanical because my being is used to chanting something saying something thinking something being involved with something we give the child a new toy to play and that toy is chanting just an analogy that since i cannot be in silence let me chant at least firstly i'm not creating any negativity and not inviting more trouble and it's not even neutral which is in itself a beautiful place to be chanting would be really positive you know it's like how we have discussed several times it's like prana pratishta in which i am invoking the divine in so yeah enough said so we'll continue to hear the astoma prayer as we begin maybe two or three more times praying with it chanting while we are chanting with it and then we will go to the first chant of the day thank you mrityo Oh 
After this beautiful, beautiful prayer of invocation in which we are play, praying to the God, to the Divine, that take me from the darkness to light, from the falsehood in and around me to the truth and help me connect with the immortality that is present in me from everything mortal that I associate myself with and ending with the peace, peace, peace mantra in all realms may there be peace. So invoking the divine's presence and grace as we begin this session. Our first mantra for the day would be Hum He Hum 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 So I am one and I am God. So that's the yes. So that's the mantra. I am hum he hum brahm hum. So we'll chant this for some time. And if you can't hear it, please let me know. Um, he...
After Hum He Hum Brahm Hum, now we'll be chanting Om Mani Padme Hum. We haven't taken that up for quite some time. And that, as we know, is popularly known, not popularly, but more commonly known as the chant of compassion. So we'll be taking that up. It's one of the most auspicious mantra in Buddhism. And it is said that even if an animal hears the mantra, the seed of liberation is planted in their being. And even writing this mantra is considered really sacred and you know helps people in their it's supposed to help us in our journey. So Om Mani Padmeham, and according to the Dalai Lama. You know, there are so many interpretations of this six syllables, but the simplest one, according to him, this is the short form of what he had spoken, that the six syllables, Om, Mani, Padme, Ham, mean that in dependence on the practice of a path, which is indivisible union of method and wisdom, so this is what he said, by this you transform your impure body, speech and mind into the pure, exalted body, speech and mind of a Buddha. So it's again a chant, a prayer of transformation of our whole being. So I'll start the chant. In case you're not able to hear it, do let me know.
So that was Om Mani Mani Padme Hu. And after this, the last chant for today that we had taken up last time, we will be repeating that. Anand Mai, Chaitanya Mai, Satya Mai Parme. So, this was written by Sri Aurobindo for the mother. So, it is said that he wrote this mantra around 1927 as one of the several miscellaneous notations connected with record of yoga. So, I will play that and this is the last chant we will be chanting today. And chanting, as we know, requires our focus, our attention, our love for the chants just as we connect with ourselves.
So she is the delight, she is the consciousness, she is the truth, she is the supreme. So what I am looking for, if what I am looking for is delight, is the consciousness, is truth, is supreme, then I already have the answers to so many of my questions. But if I'm looking for other things, well, that's what then I'll have to do till I finally come back to what I should be wanting. Again, ending with the aspiration that may I chant till I become the chant, we'll end the session here today. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Taru. Thank you so much.